Long Forestry Consultation is a private natural resource management company serving the Midwestern United States. Through the practice of sustainable forestry, we have worked for over 330 clients, have written over 200 forest management plans, representing over 37,000 acres. Our forests represent a dynamic and powerful element of nature that provide critical habitat for wildlife, water and soil protection, carbon sequestration, a renewable timber supply, and a sanctuary for people, plants, and animals. Sustainable forestry keeps forests healthy, productive, dynamic, beautiful, and available for future generations. Carol was feeling overwhelmed with the responsibility of owning 84 acres of forest. Our forest management plan allowed her to save money on taxes while securing cost-sharing opportunities to help her manage the property. When we first heard this, you know, Stan, Stan was telling us, you know, you can get this uh, you can get deductions on your taxes, and you can get deductions on, on other things. And John comes home and tells me this, and I just think, you know, this is way out there. This is, you know, years, this would be years down the road trying to get this all done. Right. This will never happen. I mean, this will involve stuff and paperwork that we don't know anything about, but Mike helped us with it all. I might add that the forest uh, management plan came in and was put into effect about uh, about two to, or two to three years ago, and then we had to go through the process of appealing the taxes, and we received notice last mm -hmm. fall that the taxes on the property are now going to be reduced by over 75%. My first husband, Bob, Bob Zeba, came into this land uh, one night uh, one Friday afternoon at the Elks Club in Carbondale, somebody walked down there and said, I've got this land. This was in the 1960s. 1960s. Uh, I, I, I found this guy, Herb Fink, who is an artist, a well-known artist, uh, who wants to sell this land. He's tired of it. He, you know, doesn't want to deal with it. And uh, does anybody want to go in? So these four guys gave, these three guys gave this fourth guy blank checks and said sure here you go and they signed them and and uh said go, you know i'll go in with you so these four guys got these eight got this 80 acres wow. and my my husband at that you know he was the youngest one and uh they got a, they got a real deal i think it was 200 dollars an acre yeah. and <laughs> they got a real deal on it and then they would just go out there um on sundays and changed the oil in their cars and uh they had a little garden and um just and they'd work on their cars and they'd work on this old tractor and get it going and uh they just mess around and they made wine and <laughs> and and so uh my husband didn't get to go a lot he was the only one with kids so we were doing baseball okay. and uh, <laughs> Uh, but then, you know, like I said, then one died and there were three of them. And then I bought the other two out, okay. uh, after my husband died because I wanted to keep it. I don't know why I wanted to keep it. I didn't know anything about this, but something in me told me you have to keep this land. Yeah. And so, and, and it, and it was, it was just there. I thought it's probably really stupid of me to keep this. But now, you know, once you make some money on selective cutting and you work on it a little bit and you get help with it with taxes and everything, it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. And that old tractor is a 1950 Ferguson yeah. tractor and it's, we got it running again. It's down there still and it's running. <laughs> One of the guys that hunts uh, helps keep it running. <laughs>